covered in blood, and he said, the cop shot the dog. A Fox 32 exclusive tonight. A Northside family furious over what they claim was an unjustified police shooting. Good evening, everyone. I'm Robin Robinson. And I'm Bob Surratt. The shooting happened Saturday in a quiet residential neighborhood. The dog was off the leash, but its owners say it never posed a threat. Now the owners say they are getting heat from police for telling us their story. Fox 32's Larry Yellen is here with exclusive details tonight. Larry. Bob and Robin, residents of the Northside Buena Park neighborhood are still upset tonight, not just because police shot the puppy they all knew as the Colonel, but also because the shooting occurred not far from a preschool on a street where pedestrians, including children, could have been hurt. Meet Colonel Phillips, a seven-month-old miniature bull terrier whose father was a champion show dog and whose owners hoped one day would be a show dog himself. They look like um, Spuds McKenzie. You see in a Target ad, one of those, but they're miniatures. But on Saturday afternoon, the Colonel became a Target himself. He was shot by a Chicago police officer in front of his owner's gated north side home. Police were writing a parking ticket for a van belonging to Al Phillips, the dog's owner, so Phillips came out to move the vehicle. My little uh, bull terrier followed me out. Then in all of his, boom, boom, two shots. This is, you shot the dog. One eyewitness, Charlene DeZago, told us she heard the officer warn Phillips about the dog being loose, but the officer never sounded like he was in danger. All of a sudden, I heard him say, get your dog. And then the next statement was, get your dog. And then he just pulled out his gun and shot twice. Morgan Phillips, Al's daughter, rushed the dog to an emergency vet. He needed a five-hour surgery. Um, they took shrapnel out of his stomach. He had a um, shell casing in his leg. It lacerated the muscle. We were going to show him, but we can't now. While I interviewed the dog's owners, I saw two police officers drive by. 90 minutes later, they were back, asking Phillips why he had contacted the media, and then giving Phillips a ticket for not keeping the colonel on a leash. They were giving us a ticket, you know, uh, three days after the fact. So I think they're probably trying to cover their rear ends. A police spokesman tonight says the shooting is being investigated by the Independent Police Review Authority, which investigates all police shootings. The Phillips family says they are considering a petition drive to have the officer who shot their dog taken off the streets. And by the way, they say that after shooting the dog, the officer put his gun back in his holster and calmly finished writing the ticket for their van. Bob and Robin, that's on top of the ticket that they received tonight after they talked to us. Any evidence that the dog may have uh, been about to attack the officer? Well, the owner says he was on the other side of the van. He's on one side, the owner, the dog was on the other side, so he didn't see how the dog approached the officer, but they say the dog weighed about 29 pounds. At worst, the, the, he would have bit the leg. He could have, the officer could have kicked the dog if he wanted to defend himself. They just can't understand why the dog was shot. They believe the officer seriously overreacted. Mm. All right, thank you, Larry Ellen.